Giselle here, and here's the class on hashtags. You see them everywhere. What do they do? How do they work? How can I use them in my marketing? Before you get into hashtags, you should have watched the individual network um, classes. A hashtag is the pound or number sign placed in front of a keyword or phrase to make it clickable and searchable. Hashtags only work with letters and numbers, no spaces between words, and they don't work with just numbers, like hashtag 2017. It, it won't work. You have to put letters, or words, along with the numbers. And hashtags are not case sensitive. You can put word phrases together, but capitalize the first letter of each word to make it easier to read. No spaces or characters. With the space, only the word social is hashtagged. Use them consistently in your post and tweets. And if someone clicks on it, all of your posts with that hashtag will come up. Use them to promote um, events before, during, and after. So um, use them before the event to promote it. During the event, have flyers and let attendees know what the hashtag is. So if they are checking in or tweeting about the event or taking pictures and uploading to Instagram or whatever, they use the correct hashtag. Um, hashtags work on all the networks but not on YouTube and they work only on the LinkedIn mobile app at this time. What's trending? At any time of the day, you can log on to see what thousands of people are talking about or what's trending. Okay, some of what trends on Twitter and Facebook may seem stupid, but sometimes they give you a gift and you can ride on the trend's coattails. However, always check to see why something is trending to make sure that it's not some crisis. And there are certain hashtags that trend each week, like Motivation Monday, Travel Tuesday, Wednesday Wisdom, Flashback Friday, for those who forgot, Throwback Thursday, etc. Watch for them and spin your marketing message around it. Use a tool like TweetDeck to schedule them out each week. Here's a sample of different companies taking advantage of, trend, of the trending hashtag Tuesday Motivation. When I clicked on the hashtag, I didn't know what to expect. I don't follow these companies. However, had I been curious or interested, I would have clicked on the post or visited their Twitter page to see who they are. Pause the video here and take a look and, and read these posts so you have an idea how, how it all works. Use hashtags with relevant keywords in your Twitter bio. Twitter users are 33% more likely to retweet when a tweet includes a hashtag. One hashtag is 69% more likely to be retweeted than two hashtags. Now, that's a rule of thumb. If you've got the right hashtags describing your business, go ahead and use more than one if needed, but don't overdo it at least on Twitter. You have 140 characters on Twitter. Don't hashtag every single word. Have a real-time chat with a hashtag. Pause the video here and study the screenshot. I explain this in more detail during the Twitter class, so this is just a little review on this particular um, Twitter chat. Since you can write more in a Facebook post, you could put more hashtags. When you click on one, you'll see it's like doing a search. You can see the top latest people, photos, videos, shop, pages, places, groups, etc. So use them in everything on Facebook. First, people will see posts from friends and groups that they are in, then public posts. However, statistics recently show that on Facebook, hashtags are not as effective as they are on Twitter, Google+, or Instagram. I say there's no harm in using them. This is a sample Facebook post for a client of mine who opened a craft beer brew pub in North Phoenix. A crucial hashtag for them is actually dog friendly. They have the only dog friendly patio in their complex. Their unique concept of having 100 taps of local craft beers lends itself to several hashtags. One of the beer tenders came up with the phrase one stop pub crawl and I said 
That's a hashtag. Brainstorm with your employees, even your customers. Get creative. Since on Instagram, the only links that work are the ones on your profile and then paid ads, hashtags come in handy for branding and to get exposure. If you look at the, uh, the graph on the right here, 91% of posts by top brands have seven or fewer hashtags. 88% of posts include at least one hashtag. Posts with at least one hashtag average 12.6% more engagement. You have a lot of space on Instagram to write a caption when uploading a picture. Use it and add those hashtags with major and relevant keywords and phrases. Like in this example, Local First Arizona is promoting a networking event in Flagstaff. They tagged the host by putting the at sign in front of their username, which gives them exposure as well as using several hashtags. The idea is to use them consistently in all of your posts. Everything published public on Google Plus gets indexed in the search engine, including the hashtags. Search Google for a hashtag and both Google Plus and tweets on Twitter will come up, especially if you use the Google Chrome browser. Hashtags work on Pinterest. Put them in your bio and use them in pin and board description. There's no limit to how many hashtags you can use. This is an example of one of my boards on my business Pinterest account. I've hashtagged relevant keywords and major keywords. Here's an example of a pin from my blog. I use the hashtag social savvy everywhere. If you forget to add the hashtag when you add a pin, you can edit the pin later. In this class, we looked at hashtags, which are part of your marketing strategic and tactical plans. Begin with keyword research, then create hashtags based on what makes sense to promote your business and reach your target market. Look for other videos on strategies and tactics to become more effective in your social media marketing.